Everton have reportedly rejected a second bid for defender Jarrod Branthway from Manchester United. The revised offer was in the region of £45 million plus £5 million add-ons. This is way short of Everton's valuation of £75 million for the England defender. Uh, we're at the stage, I think, with this one where Everton need to draw a line under it. Manchester United are taking the mickey a little bit here. Uh, Everton are valuing Brantwaite at £75 million. That's what they want for him. It's dead simple. Any Man United fan who is cry at Everton's price, move on. Get your club to move on. Go and chase a different defender. Go and pay money for a different defender if you don't think Brantwaite's worth it. Why are you that bothered? that Everton volume so highly if you don't rate them. That's that's the weirdest thing. United continuing to just off make the rise of the bids, and that's what it is. We, they know what Everton wants. If they don't think Brantwaite's worth the money that Everton wants, go and get someone else. Dead simple. So, listen, I don't know what Everton will do. I personally, if I was Everton, would, would tell United that they've got 48 hours to make... The what Everton, you know, value Brantwaite at. Otherwise, they refuse to deal with them this summer. Everton have done it one time before with John Stones and Chelsea. They drew a line under it and said, no matter what Chelsea offer, we're not dealing with you. And he went for, to City a year later. And I guess the money side of it makes it difficult, but we can't continue this to be a story each week while they keep putting it up by a million quid, so we'll see. Uh, apparently on the back of that, Manchester United have also discussed signing Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin as they look to, their, uh, to add to their striker options. There's a report in The Athletic today saying that uh, Calvert-Lewin has indicated he doesn't want to stay at Goodison Park. He did reject Everton's offer of a new contract and uh, the club value him at £30 million. Pounds. So let's see what happens with that one. Uh, Ipswich Town have agreed an £18 million deal with Hull City for winger uh, and Everton target Jaden Philogy, and it's up to the player to decide. Now, apparently Everton had a some sort of agreement in place with Hull as well. Everton still hold an interest, but Philogy looks as though he'll move to Ipswich Town. Dwight McNeil has revealed that he has been coming into Finch Farm throughout the summer months. Uh, even brought his dad in to do some extra training. Not his dad, to him. Uh, McNeil said, I knew I wanted to improve some technical aspects of my game, so I've been coming in with my dad as much as I can. Uh, McNeil played 35 games last season, but only scored three goals, uh, which was less than half of his goal return for the previous season. Uh, it's good. Listen, it's good that he's trying to get ahead of the curve. He's got in working hard, hopefully doing a bit of shooting with his right foot as well, uh, in an attempt, you know, to get those fine margins. That's what it's all about. And obviously, Italy, you know, ensure that he comes back a little bit sharper to pre-season training. He did go on to say that he finds the testing uh, sessions very boring, and he can't wait for the real stuff to start. So hopefully. He will, uh, he'll have another strong season this year and get back amongst the uh, the goals that he got the season before last for Everton. And finally, Everton under-21 midfielder Jacob Bowman-Clark has signed his first professional contract with the club. The 18-year-old has signed a two-year deal until the end of 2026. So uh, congratulations to Jacob there. That is it for us. Hit the uh, like button, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you later.